what's up guys we're gonna make this real real short today's video we're gonna be taking the e90 on some nice little roads for a little pov drive this is sort of like the first drive that i really have in my car where i can talk to you guys a little bit i'm gonna use my lovely gopro with my little thing trust me don't worry i can see i got the camera as well we're gonna have to take a little pan shots however that go past my videos i walked around the car kind of told you guys a little bit of the issues i'm gonna solve all of those i'm gonna fix those and we're also gonna add performance parts but before, I actually want to drive this car and see how it drives factory with the back control arms and everything of that nature, diff bushing and stuff like that. Uh, kind of replicate some of the sounds and movements and feeling just so if you guys are going through something like that, you know kind of what it is and how to remedy that as well. Another thing is because I just want to see the transformation of this car. Last thing I want to do is just throw a bunch of parts at it and kind of not see the improvement. Uh, so yeah, here we go. Short disclaimer. Now we'll be upgrading some of these components with like M components, like uh, the front suspension, stuff like that. It's gonna be a huge difference in uh, performance because well, we're taking some OEM uh, blown or OEM bad bushings to an M bushing. Now, even if you wanna choose to go OEM, it's gonna ride even, uh, it's gonna ride a lot better. Uh, it's a lot of misconception that people have, especially with springs and uh, strut, especially with struts and stuff like that. A lot of people think that, um, it's a lot better, it's a drastic difference just because of performance when at the end of the day, the structure has just been blown. So I'm gonna stop talking, we're gonna get in the car, we're gonna go for a drive. Got the keys, came with two, pretty nice. I'm um, gonna use these gloves as well, just cause the steering was a little beat up and bald. Walk around, this is the car, I'm pretty sure you guys are familiar with it already. And uh, yeah, I'm just gonna get in. Also, comfort access, I don't know if you guys can see the gear shifter. Here, you guys could definitely see the gear shifter. But comfort access, I guess I'm going to use my driving gloves. This doesn't need to be inserted in here, but for all intents and purposes, we're going to insert it in there. Just, oh no, it messed with the seat's position. We ain't doing that no more. Ah, fuck it, whatever. What the heck? It, this is two totally different seat positions. Got some sense to make it smell good, but I'll worry about that later. I'll roll the window down a little bit. Right, let's go for a little run, guys. Bear with me. I am not exactly a professional. We. straight away for you guys but it gets a little tricky behind these corners because well <laughs> yo the steering it actually doesn't feel as bad as you would think for one control arms Looks like the cops are not doing it you, so we're gonna do it you. Man. Now I'm not sure if this thing has like a clutch delay valve that everybody speaks of. It kind of feels like it does because the shifts are a little bit delayed. Believe it or not, struts handle pretty good. You can tell the control arms is just lack thereof. But the cockpit views, it is very inspiring. I kind of, I kind of thought that I would need some form of like a E92 M3 or E90 M3 to have this wonderful seating position. But actually, I mean this wonderful cockpit view. But you could. Have it in this. I'm leaving out for naturally aspirated. I mean, look how the motor pulls. It actually pulls pretty, pretty cool. Like it really doesn't seem like it's that bad for stock. Here's where I get a little scared. The uh, twisties. Yo, Natchez for the inline six BMW motor sounds good though. 
I'm not a downshifter king, so I don't know. I don't even remember what gear I'm in. I think I was in third. Suspension could definitely use some tightening up, but you could actually have a bit of fun in it, honestly. Here, one more time. I think I might have revved it up too much. I got a little belt squeak, you hear it? It's pretty fun though. Yeah, definitely, definitely a loose feeling, but it feels pretty good. The steering does feel a lot lighter than I would expect it though. Maybe because it's a 328. This little steering thing, boy, is loose. Surprisingly, the brakes work. I'll go ahead and hit them for you guys. Brakes work. This car is really fun because you can floor it for long periods of time. It doesn't really make crazy, crazy amounts of power. Thing. This thing is fun for two grand. You can have a lot of fun with a little bit of trouble because I'm nailing it right now. Oh, you guys, let me know if I'm doing something wrong. I don't know what I'm doing, but I stay on the gas. You know, I clutch in. That, that's what I do. I just stay on the gas a little bit to kind of, kind of, um, you know, rev it up so it can go into last gear smoothly. Like you just kind of have a, a feel for where the RPM should be for the for next gear. Yeah, this guy with wooden things in the back. I oh, didn't have to take the highway. But uh, I'll tell you straight up, bro. Anything under two, anything under like three thousand RPM, it really doesn't pull. I guess because like that's not your aspirated stuff. You know, 70 miles an hour. It has a bit, a, a decent amount of acceleration to be 100% honest with you. One thing I do notice six speed versus eight speed is like drastically different. Those two extra gears mean a lot. I'm on a highway. Uh, with the BMW, the M3, 40i, it's like, you know, at 60 miles an hour, it's like freaking creeping virtual over 1,000 RPM. Now it's like a little higher. But yeah, this is literally, this is the car. You know, you have the clunk. Uh, if you guys heard the clunk, that is the uh, control arms. And I probably shouldn't have driven it as hard as I did with the control arms bad. However, I just really wanted to get a feel for the car. And, um, yeah, it seems pretty nice. Even the alignment is like almost spot on because like, look, I let go of the wheel and the car, I mean, if you go straight, that's Alfa Romeo. Holy crap, you don't see a lot of those. I think the first time I've ever really, really seen one of those is like on a, oh, Mazda, Mazda Speed 3. Holy shit, I'm in somebody else's lane. Mazda Speed 3, wow, those are cool too. Actually, I, I like the Mazda Speed 3s. They got a 2.3 liter motor, four cylinder, I think it's turbo. Reminds me of the motor that's in the EcoBoost Mustang. Imagine you do a, but well, then you'll get the, the RS, the Focus RS or the Fiesta ST, whatever you call it. But yeah, pretty sure going through the gears, you guys get a little jolt in the back. So I'll walk over something. Like I said, the alignment's pretty good. It doesn't even shake all the wheels. None of the wheels are bent. This thing is like super, 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 I guess in good shape if you ask me. 196,000 miles, 197,000 basically. Uh, since I've owned the car, I put 156 point six miles on it uh, the inspection is up next month i think or two months from now i have no check engine lights on the car so i i think i might actually go ahead and get this car inspected asap because well you know how bmws are i do need to clean this up a bit so i might head over to one of my guys and have them go ahead and clean the interior up a bit see where we can start work on some of the headliner items revamp the i drive system 
boot for the manual transmission. It had one, it was cracked, and it was like very annoying, kind of interfering with my shift a little bit, I think. So I just removed it. Uh, shift knobs gotta get replaced, and that little, that short shifter, oh boy, it really needs to come in handy because the bushings on this are worn, like worn out completely. Uh, I think I might upgrade this iDrive controller. Interior may just stay the same because it just feels so good. They do have a digital version for this. In my opinion, it, it, it is a, a better, I guess it's a more updated, advanced technology-ish. But however, I just like the way this looks right here. I feel like I'm gonna have a $2,000 car, you know, 2007. This car is like, how many years old now? We're in 2021. That This dash is perfect for this. Now, I would almost say this is perfect for this, but it's not. There's a single hump version, which does not have the second hump, obviously. And what that has is just a generic radio down here, kind of where you see the CD player stuff. And uh, just a flat top, looks like that. There are units that kind of simulate, they give you the F30 toaster oven or the G20, actually like toaster oven look uh, for the car where you got the screen and everything. I think that that's nice. It's cool. I think you have to cut somewhere in the dash. However, this is, I think, the best look for 07. Like this style is the best look for 07, but I mean, I'm a guy that came from an F10 who kind of likes something like this set up a little bit more than the toaster oven look. So. I mean, hey, but at the end of the day, uh, I will update that screen because th these graphics are just, I, I can't take it. I need a uh, CarPlay. I don't care about any other features that's gonna be on the other radio besides just CarPlay, but this has to stay regular. This has to stay stock, factory, I love it. This car is pretty good on gas actually too, a lot better than my uh, 435 and M340. However, I'm gonna cycle through it. I got an average, 20.2 miles per gallon now i reset it right before that spirited drive i did so that was literally just the spirited drive section and we're talking 20.2 miles per gallon which is pretty cool i don't really give a shit but you know it is what it is a lot less than my other car and we get a nice little swingy uh mpg gauge like who doesn't like that looks freaking dope i really didn't want to put tint on this car uh, because, well, one, I didn't want it to look too hot boyish. I want to at least have the car looking nice and decent before I throw some type of window tint. It's not going to be pitch black, but it, I have to get rid of the sun. Like, it's it's like beaming on my head, and it feels a little bit uncomfortable. And it will accelerate the age on this interior a lot faster, which it looks like the front has been taken really good uh, beating to the sun. The rear is not so much. The colors died out. Why am I behind this car? I'm just talking about behind this car. I have some things coming for the rear end. I'm kind of have a hard time deciding whether or not I should go power first or like drivability first or looks first because you know they both kind of cost around the same. I could drop the rear, do the bushings, throw an LSD in there, a wave track. Uh, I think it's about like 1200 bucks, you know, uh, and do the front control arm. Just car will drive like a freaking champ. And then like smooth up the interior, but the exterior will still look kind of crappy and old. Pro Dipper got to take a look at this. We're going to make some things happen. Uh, we're going to get some wheels going. I'll lower the car probably later on in the future, but that seems to be it for the moment. So I'm going to go ahead and turn this one off uh, because I'm pretty sure you guys don't want to hear me talking for the rest of my life about plans for the car. Yo, 2000 bucks. I have not put anything into this car yet at all actually like two thousand bucks registration uh insurance and here we are you can actually get into a bmw and have fun now i wouldn't be so sure if this was an m54 if it would be that easy even in an n55 e series you will pay more for those cars however they might need a little bit more on than or done to them but pretty sure it's worth it because I've driven an M54 tuned car and it pulls pulls so much that it kind of makes me want to upgrade this puppy which disclaimer because I know I'm going to get a lot of this heat in the comment section we got to pull over and take a picture of this car I forgot to get the, the, the thumbnail oh I'm gonna do what I'm driving but uh I'm gonna get a lot of heat for this however listen I found this car or this car kind of found me all right, so I know, you know, M54 would have been better, M55 would have been better for making power, blah, blah, blah. But listen, $2,000.
That's all I got to say. All right, guys. Mike from Soul Speed. Peace out.